persimmons are the edible fruit of a number of species of trees in the genus Diospyros. Diospyros is in the family Ebonaceae. The most widely cultivated species is the Asian persimmon, Diospyros khaki. In color the ripe fruit of the cultivated strains range from light yellow-orange to dark red-orange depending on the species and variety. They similarly vary in size from 1.5 to 9 cm in diameter, and in shape the varieties may be spherical, acorn, or pumpkin-shaped. The calyx generally remains attached to the fruit after harvesting, but becomes easy to remove once the fruit is ripe. The ripe fruit has a high glucose content. The protein content is low, but it has a balanced protein profile. Persimmon fruits have been put to various medicinal and chemical uses. Like the tomato, persimmons are not popularly considered to be berries, but in terms of botanical morphology the fruit is in fact a berry. Names and etymology, the word diasparos comes from the ancient Greek words dios, and pyros. In context, this means more or less divine fruit, though its literal meaning is closer to wheat of Zeus. It is, however, sufficiently confusing to have given rise to some curious interpretations, such as God's pear, and Jove's fire. The modern Greek name for the fruit is Ii Permil Iii which leads modern Greeks to the assumption that this is the lotus referred to in Homer's Odyssey. The word persimmon itself is derived from putchamin, pesiminon, or pesimin, from perhatan, an Algonquian language of the eastern United States, meaning a dry fruit. Select species. While there are many species of diasparos that bear fruit inedible to humans, the following are those that bear edible fruit: Diasparos khaki. Diasparos khaki is native to China. It is deciduous, with broad, stiff leaves, and is known as the shi, and also as the Japanese persimmon or khaki in Japanese. It is the most widely cultivated species. Its fruits are sweet and slightly tangy with a soft to occasionally fibrous texture. Cultivation of the fruit extended first to other parts of East Asia and Pakistan, and was later introduced to California and Southern Europe in the 1800s, to Brazil in the 1890s, and numerous cultivars have been selected. It is edible in its crisp firm state, but has its best flavor when allowed to rest and soften slightly after harvest. The Japanese cultivar hatchia is widely grown. The fruit has a high tannin content which makes the immature fruit astringent and bitter. The tannin levels are reduced as the fruit matures. Persimmons like hatcher must be completely ripened before consumption. When ripe, this fruit comprises thick pulpy jelly encased in a waxy thin skin shell. Sharon fruit is the marketing name for the Israeli bread cultivar Triumph. As with all pollination variant astringent persimmons, the fruit are ripened off the tree by exposing them to carbon dioxide. The Sharon fruit has no core, is seedless, particularly sweet, and can be eaten whole. Diasparos lotus, date plum is native to Southwest Asia and Southeast Europe. It was known to the ancient Greeks as the fruit of the gods, or often referred to as nature's candy that is Dios Pyros, hence the scientific name of the genus. Its English name probably derives from Persian Kormaluo registered trademark O plus or minus U O O M U literally date plum, referring to the taste of this fruit which is reminiscent of both plums and dates. This species is one candidate for the lotus mentioned in the Odyssey, it was so delicious that those who ate it forgot about returning home and wanted to stay and eat lotus with the lotus eaters. Diasparos virginiana, American persimmon is native to the eastern United States and is higher in nutrients like vitamin C, calcium, iron and potassium than the Japanese persimmon. Its fruit is traditionally eaten in a special steamed pudding in the Midwest and sometimes its timber is used as a substitute for ebony. The American persimmon fruit is proven to be valuable food source for white-tailed deer because the fruit ripens late into the year and will hang on the tree much throughout the winter months. Diasparos digina, black persimmon or black sapote is native to Mexico. Its fruit has green skin and white flesh, which turns black when ripe. Diasparos discolor, the mabalo or velvet apple is native to the Philippines. It is bright red when ripe. It is also native to China, where it is known as xi. It is also known as Korean mango. Diasparos peregrina, Indian persimmon is a slow-growing tree, 
native to coastal West Bengal. The fruit is green and turns yellow when ripe. It is relatively small and has an unremarkable flavor and is better known for its medicinal than its culinary uses. Diasparos texana, Texas persimmon is a species of persimmon that is native to central and west Texas and southwest Oklahoma in the United States, and eastern Chihuahua, Coahuila, Nuevo Lequeuten, and Tamaulipas in northeastern Mexico. The fruit of D. Texana are black on the outside or globose berries with a diameter of 1.5 a euro 2.5 a cm ripen in August the fleshy berries become edible when they turn dark purple or black, at which point they are sweet and can be eaten from the hand or made into pudding or custard. Fruit Commercially and in general, there are two types of persimmon fruit, astringent and non-astringent. The heart-shaped hatchet is the most common variety of astringent persimmon. Astringent persimmons contain very high levels of soluble tannins and are unpalatably astringent if eaten before completely softened. However, the sweet, delicate flavor of fully ripened persimmons of varieties that are astringent when unripe, is particularly relished. The astringency of tannins is removed in various ways. Examples include ripening by exposure to light for several days, and wrapping the fruit in paper. Ethylene ripening can be increased in reliability and evenness, and the process can be greatly accelerated, by adding ethylene gas to the atmosphere in which the fruit are stored. For domestic purposes the most convenient and effective process is to store the ripening persimmons in a clean, dry container together with other varieties of fruit that give off particularly large quantities of ethylene while they are ripening. Apples and related fruits such as pears are effective, and so are bananas and several others. Other chemicals are used commercially in artificially ripening persimmons or delaying their ripening. Examples include alcohol and carbon dioxide which change tannin into the insoluble form. Such bletting processes sometimes are jump-started by exposing the fruit to cold or frost. The resultant cell damage stimulates the release of ethylene, which promotes cellular wall breakdown. One traditional misconception is that persimmons are to be ripened till rotten. This is a confusion of the processes of controlled ripening with the processes of decay, possibly arising from problems of translation from Asiatic languages onto English. Rotting is the action of microorganisms such as fungi, and rotting persimmons are no better than any other rotting fruit. Sound persimmons should be ripened till they are fully soft, except that the carpal still might be softly chewy. At that stage the skin might be splitting and the calyx can easily be plucked out of the fruit before serving, which often is a good sign that the soft fruit is ready to eat. Astringent varieties of persimmons also can be prepared for commercial purposes by drying. Tainashi fruit will occasionally contain a seed or two, which can be planted and will yield a larger more vertical tree than when merely grafted onto the D. virginiana rootstock most commonly used in the U.S. Such seedling trees may produce fruit that bears more seeds, usually six to eight per fruit, and the fruit itself may vary slightly from the parent tree. Seedlings are said to be more susceptible to root nematodes. The non-astringent persimmon is squat like a tomato and is most commonly sold as fuu. Non-astringent persimmons are not actually free of tannins as the term suggests, but rather are far less astringent before ripening, and lose more of their tannic quality sooner. Non-astringent persimmons may be consumed when still very firm, and remain edible when very soft. There is a third type, less commonly available, the pollination variant non-astringent persimmons. When fully pollinated, the flesh of these fruit is brown inside a euro known as goma in Japan a euro, and the fruit can be eaten firm. These varieties are highly sought after and can be found at speciality markets or farmers markets only. Tshurinoko, Sold as chocolate persimmon for its dark brown flesh, marat, sold as cinnamon persimmon for its spicy flavor, and yakum, sold as brown sugar are the three best known. Before ripening, persimmons usually have a chalky taste or bitter taste. Fruit production, the table below shows figures of persimmons for the world's top 10 persimmon producing countries according to FAO statistics. Culinary uses. Persimmons are eaten fresh, dried, raw, or cooked. When eaten fresh they are usually eaten whole like an apple or cut into quarters, though with some varieties it is best to peel the skin first. 
One way to consume berry ripe persimmons, which can have the texture of pudding, is to remove the top leaf with a paring knife and scoop out the flesh with a spoon. Riper persimmons can also be eaten by removing the top leaf, breaking the fruit in half and eating from the inside out. The flesh ranges from firm to mushy, and the texture is unique. The flesh is very sweet and when firm due to being unripe, possesses an apple-like crunch. American persimmons and diasparos digena are completely inedible until they are fully ripe. In China, Korea, Japan, and Vietnam after harvesting, hatcher persimmons are prepared using traditional hand drying techniques, outdoors for two to three weeks. The fruit is then further dried by exposure to heat over several days before being shipped to market. In Japan the dried fruit is called oshigaki, in China it is known as sha cng, in Korea it is known as godgum, and in Vietnam it is called ha ng ka. It is eaten as a snack or dessert and used for other culinary purposes. In Korea, dried persimmon fruits are used to make the traditional Korean spicy punch, sojiung won, while the matured, fermented fruit is used to make a persimmon vinegar called gum siko. In Taiwan, fruits of astringent varieties are sealed in jars filled with lime water to get rid of bitterness. Slightly hardened in the process, they are sold under the name crisp persimmon, or water persimmon. Preparation time is dependent upon temperature. In some areas of Manchuria and Korea, the dried leaves of the fruit are used for making tea. The Korean name for this tea is amipka. In the old northwest of the United States, persimmons are harvested and used in a variety of dessert dishes most notably pies. It can be used in cookies, cakes, puddings, salads, curries and as a topping for breakfast cereal. Persimmon pudding is a dessert using fresh persimmons. An annual persimmon festival, featuring a persimmon pudding contest, is held every September in Mitchell, Indiana. Persimmon pudding is a baked pudding that has the consistency of pumpkin pie but resembles a brownie and is almost always topped with whipped cream. Persimmons may be stored at room temperature 20 AA degrees Celsius where they will continue to ripen. In northern China, and ripe persimmons are frozen outside during winter to speed up the ripening process. Nutrient and phytochemical content, compared to apples, persimmons have higher levels of dietary fiber, sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, iron and manganese, but lower levels of copper and zinc. They also contain vitamin C and provitamin A beta carotene. Persimmon fruits contain phytochemicals, such as catechin and gallocatechin, as well as compounds under preliminary research for potential anti-cancer activity, such as betulinic acid. In one study, a diet supplemented with dried, powdered Triumph persimmons improved lipid metabolism in laboratory rats. Unripened persimmons Unripened persimmons contain the soluble tannin chibol, which, upon contact with a weak acid, polymerizes in the stomach and forms a gluey coagulum, a food ball, or fitobsal that can affix with other stomach matter. These fitobeses are often very hard and almost woody in consistency. More than 85% of fitobeses are caused by ingestion of unripened persimmons. Persimmon beses often occur in epidemics in regions where the fruit is grown. Diaspyrobses should not be of concern when consuming moderate quantities of persimmons. One case in medical literature from 2004 revealed a 51-year-old patient who had eaten a kilogram of unpeeled persimmons each day for 40 years. Surgery is sometimes employed, but Coca-Cola has also been successfully used to chemically shrink or eliminate persimmon-related beezers. Horses may develop a taste for the fruit growing on a tree in their pasture and overindulge also, making them quite ill. It is often advised that persimmons should not be eaten on an empty stomach. Wood. Though persimmon trees belong to the same genus as ebony trees, persimmon tree wood has a limited use in the manufacture of objects requiring hard wood. It is hard, but cracks easily and is somewhat difficult to process. Persimmon wood is used for paneling in traditional Korean and Japanese furniture. In North America, the lightly colored, fine grained wood of D. virginiana is used to manufacture billiard cues and textile shuttles. It is also used in the percussion field to produce the shaft of some mallets and drumsticks. 
persimmon wood was also heavily used in making the highest quality heads of the golf clubs known as woods until the golf industry moved primarily to metal woods in the last years of the 20th century. In fact, the first metal woods made by Taylor Made, an early pioneer of that club type, were branded as Pittsburgh persimmons. Persimmon woods are still made, but in far lower numbers than in past decades. Over the last few decades persimmon wood has become popular among bow craftsmen, especially in the making of traditional long bows. Persimmon wood is used in making a small number of wooden flutes and eating utensils such as wooden spoons and cornbread knives. Like some other plants of the genus Diospyros, older persimmon heartwood is black or dark brown in color, in stark contrast to the sapwood and younger heartwood, which is pale in color. Trees The trees of all species have stiff, tumescent leaves, but the female of the D. virginiana can look less turgid than the male because the leaves droop when fruiting, perhaps because of the heavier nutrient requirements. They grow swiftly and are resilient to the stresses of unpredictable climates. Persimmons can tolerate and adapt to a wide range of climates. Persimmons are also known for their resistance to diseases and pests. They are one of the last trees to leaf out in the spring, and do not flower until well after the leaves have formed, bypassing the threat of blossom loss to frosts. The fruit hangs on the branches long into the winter. Because they grow swiftly and colonize off their root systems, they are ideal for helping recover habitat. A persimmon tree will be mature enough to bear fruit within seven a year or eight years. They hold their own against flooding riverbanks quite well and are listed in Stormwater Journal's list of water holding trees. Apocryphal and traditional significance In Ozark folklore, the severity of the upcoming winter is said to be predictable by slicing a persimmon, seed and observing the cutlery-shaped formation within it. The folklore about the seed says that a spoon means snow while a fork is a milder winter and a knife is a cold biting winter. In Vietnam, the fruit is a part of mid-autumn festival offering. In traditional Chinese medicine the fruit is thought to regulate truly. The raw fruit is used to treat constipation and hemorrhoids, and to stop bleeding. Overconsumption can induce diarrhea, but the cooked fruit is used to treat diarrhea and dysentery. The opposing effects of the raw and cooked fruit are due to its osmotic effect in the raw fruit sugar, and the high tannin content of the cooked fruit helping with diarrhea. In philosophy, the painting of persimmons by Muki exemplifies the progression from youth to age as a symbol of the progression from bitterness to sweetness. The persimmon when young is bitter and inedible, but as it ages it becomes sweet and beneficial to humankind. Thus, as we age, we overcome rigidity and prejudice and attain compassion and sweetness. Muki's painting of six persimmons is considered a masterpiece. In Korean folklore the dried persimmon has a reputation of scaring away tigers. Gallery. See also, Persimmon Regiment, References.